First you have to make a cube, one inch by one inch by one inch. This goes into ground. Ah, uh, it's just Josh. And next you have to have the resistors plugged in. Red goes in 12, green goes in 11. Or blue, since this is stronger you need to use a more powerful resistor. As you can see, you have to make this look just like that. Start off by doing that. Now you copy and paste this stuff. What happens if you click get code? Stay right here. Then you have to verify it. Hey, look, no errors. How neat. There you go. Now, depending on how much light the photo cell gets, it will change pitch. And as you can see now, the battery is hooked up. Neat. Okay, so you have to have the servo motor connected, one to the nine pin. And then you have to have your potentiometer in here. Um, and then you have to go and copy and paste the code. All right. <gasps> code. Code. Let's verify the code. Let's go. All right. Looks pretty dandy. We have life. <gasps> we do. Oh, oh my gosh. Go to Oh no. Are you ready? Oh. It does. Oh, with the battery. Sort of. Zoom in. <gasps> yeah. Like there. Okay, so this is the servo motor sweep. I'm going to be building that. And then put that in there. <laughs> Look, now it's sweeping, just like it should be. <laughs> and so, then, if we put the battery in... I know. And it continues... I mean, it's still moving, just at a much slower pace, so... The battery is a little dead. <laughs> we'll count it as a success.